Hello and welcome everyone to my Let's Play Painkiller the Black Edition. This is Zalgaris115 speaking and there's the very third level waiting for us ahead. Now if you remember we received a golden card in the previous atrium complex level for destroying all the objects so let's see what the card is all about. Ah the haste, yeah I already explained that one but it's definitely worth seeing it in action and that's what we're gonna do. This third level is seriously action packed. Okay, once again the cost was only 100 gold coins, we got a thousand now. So you see there's really never a worry about insufficient funds. You just... When you pick up all the holy items you'll never run out of gold. Okay, so now when we activate the golden cards, not only will take half of the damage because of the endurance, but also the world will move two times slower. So more opportunities for us to strike. But that that's not the best combination. It it will get better and better. Okay, so let's initiate the third level. Card unlocking status kill all monsters in the catacombs. Well let's see what this is all about. Huh, well, how did we get into the mountains from the atrium complex? I'm not really sure, but that doesn't matter. So, okay, now we have the painkiller, shotgun and freezer, stake gun and grenade launcher, and here, they even provided some ammunition. Well, clearly I have to enter, but the entrance is blocked. But I see a way to clear the rubble, but before we do that... You see something shining up there? Well, I do. So... Oh, that didn't work out right. Okay, we'll just have to climb this dynamite box up there. Okay, that was a bit difficult, but here we are. Now we'll need to get... We need to move upwards. Yeah, and try not to fall down. It's pretty hard, seriously. Shame we can't save. This is the biggest problem with trauma difficulty. Come on, keep going. Okay, that was something. Well, I need to mention that secrets in this third level of the first chapter are without doubt the worst kind in the whole game. And you'll soon see why. I mean, this was incredibly easy in comparison to the other secrets. But I'm not looking forward to this level. It's monotonous and there are many ambushes, I really don't like it. I could think it has great battle music, otherwise I would be in despair right now. And there we have, well, a familiar looking enemy, but somehow different. Yeah, these are the zombie warriors from the cemetery, just in a copper armor, and they're not wearing their swords, but maces, or morning stars according to manual. I'm not sure what type of mace a morning star is exactly. Yeah, in this level, always watch your back. They like to ambush you from behind. They have absolute freedom since... You see, the enemies just spawn where they want. It's, it's really nasty. 
Okay, so the first checkpoint wasn't so bad, but it gets worse. Okay, there's trouble down here, so let's go up. Climb this rope. Now, if you want, you can try to safely kill all the enemies from up here, but I'm not gonna do that because it just wouldn't be fun. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, this isn't fun either. Now, you see the holy item there? That's the one I'll be trying to get across to. As to how, I don't really know. You just have to jump, keep pressing the space button, and somehow, using these wooden wines, get across to the other side. I have no idea how it works. For my years of experience, I never found that how. It's completely random, well, it takes about 40 attempts to succeed, so I guess I'm gonna cut a lot from this video. Well, see you once I get there! Oh my god, I can't believe it. Okay, now to just survive this fight and I can move on. Whew. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. If I'll make it. He yeah, expressed my opinion from snipe about sniping from up here, but now that I have the secret, I kind of value my life. Well, wow. Let's get down safely. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy, what a mess. Shouldn't wanna die now. Yeah, feeling powerless, aren't you? You should. <laughs> Just 80 of them? That's not much. Finally, I spent like, okay, only 30 minutes, but those were very long 30 minutes. <clears throat> oh, we have the armor, how nice. I, I'm so nervous right now, I feel like I'm gonna mess things up, because I need to reach checkpoint, otherwise I can repeat this whole ordeal again. No, no demon's gonna get us tonight. For this is the gamer's night. Okay, let's stay safe here. Huh? Wasn't very effective, was it? We barely hit the guy. Whoa, whoa, what's that anyway? Something really ugly. Is it a hobbit? A halfling or something? I don't know. Oh, right. The manual says they're vampires for some unknown reason. We call these guys vampires. I mean, seriously? Because they have big teeth, they're supposed to be vampires? Well, I'm no vampire fan or anything like that, but... After... Playing the World of Darkness, I kind of grew more attached to them, and this is not how I imagined them, not at all. Now, let's be real careful with the bridge here. This bridge is deadly. I mean, seriously, look, look at the engine. It's a mess. Whew. Got through that one as well. And there's the checkpoint. Yes! Okay, now, there we continue, so basically, let's take the other path. I think... 
There's an ambush waiting for us here. I'm not really sure. Uh, I guess we're never gonna get those gold coins. Whoa! That was rather ineffective. Okay, we're safe. That's all that matters. Huh. Okay, let's head on. Trouble. Oh, come on. Do I always miss? You see, when they attack, they sort of duck to the side and it can be really hard to hit them in that case. Oh. Okay, I checked it. These guys aren't vampires. They're vamps. Which is basically a vampire. V A M P. And as you might have noticed, these little guys, if you deal some serious damage to them, they'll turn into big guys. Yeah, big vamps. That small vamp turns into a big vamp if you deal him enough damage. Now, we don't want that, do we? So we're gonna prevent that. And we can either do this by some serious overkill, like shredding its body to pieces with explosives, or freezing them, meaning they end up in pieces all the same. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, well, get bothered with another secret, yeah. And another secret. You see this dynamite box? We need it. And be careful when moving it around. One quick impact, it blows up in your face, and that's not a nice prospect. Uh, okay, so we just push it forward all the way to the checkpoint. Oh, but before we do that, let's destroy this stuff in here. Okay, more shinies. I'll push it all the way to the checkpoint. I'm trying not to die. It's pretty unnerving. Ah, yeah, there's this wooden plank blocking our way. I'm not gonna use painkiller to get it out of the way because it will surely blow in our face. Oh, we did it, okay. <sighs> Secrets in this level. Are they really the worst kind? There are gonna be some horrible ones, but nothing as bad as this. Seriously. Okay. I can't see anything really. Oh, trouble. Explosive trouble. Oh, stay away from that crate, it's mine! Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh. Okay, uh, that was a bit close there, but nothing we couldn't handle, right? Wrong. Hi there. Yeah. These are zombie warlords we've met in the cemetery level, but a bit different look. They look like, I don't know, skinny Conan's the Barbarians, uh, I don't know. Just an alternate look to them. They have the same power. Ah! Whoa! You see, it still hurts when they hit you. Ah, come on! You ruined the support, you bastards! Ah, okay. And that's it for the enemies. 
uh, now we're gonna destroy every single coffin in here. Yep, that's that's really a boring thing to do, especially collecting the gold. Yeah, I hate this level. I already said so, didn't I? I should skip this whole part of collecting it, the gold from the coffins, but then the video wouldn't feel complete. And again, just the other side. Very exciting! That one self-destructed. It was the debris from the previous one that hit it with large force and actually caused damage. Okay, now why the hell did we lack this dynamite crate? Let me show you. Yep, there it is. Shiny prize waiting for us up there. And guess how we're gonna reach it? Move this thing carefully. You bump it quickly and it will blow up. I think I already said that. Wow. Wow, okay. Let me try this again. And here we find ourselves again with our beloved dynamite crate. Yeah, I had the pleasure of destroying all the coffins one by one, all over again. These wooden planks must have destroyed our dynamite crate. Yeah, this engine is crazy, seriously. Oh boy. What well, was year 2004, I think, when it came out, so... It's pretty impressive eh? engine and graphics for that year. Now I'm not sure which one it is. Oh, the third one, okay. Yeah, now this will be troublesome. We need to make the crate stand up without blowing it up. And to do that, I, I, I don't even know. Be careful when you fall down, trying to fall on the crate, guess what happens. Oh, let's try it from the other side. Oh, oh, oh! Well, closer, closer. Nope. I seriously suck at this level. So many failed attempts and unnecessarily prolonged moments. Seriously, I'm ashamed. But there it is. We have the third secret. And just one more, huh? Great. Looking forward to it. I think it's the easiest one. This level, yeah. Oh, okay, we'll hear about that. Finally, a checkpoint. Now we don't have to repeat the ordeal. Oh, blowing pleasure. Instantaneous. <laughs> oh, they were crazily, they just shuffle around. Hard to hit. Wow. Seriously, am I that bad? Uh oh. Always watch your back. Ah, you see? You see? Those bastards. Can't even freeze them properly. Oh, freeze the corpse. Well, that was a big help. Okay, the last secret. There we go.
Oh, I'm not sure how I did that, but I'm glad I did. Oh. One armor and many many objects and ammo boxes. Oh, we can't freeze anymore. That never makes me happy. Ah! Oh! Shit! Okay, these catacombs make me jumpy. What's this hand? Makes me angry for some reason. Thou shall not pass this bridge. Or maybe you won't. No, you won't. Ooh. Well, all in a day's work. Reason to stop. Let's move. Oh, oh, not very stable, is it? His hands make me angry. I don't know why. Oh, perfect place for an ambush. wasn't very effective once again because I always come prepared okay sweet checkpoint is here along with a few iron or metal boxes to blow up Oh, monsters. I killed more than a half. That's good, I guess. Oh, this is fun. Though incredibly annoying if you're trying to find all ammo boxes and destroy all objects. And that's exactly what we're attempting to do. So, yeah, it will be the annoying kind of fun. Oh. No, 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 no. Next. Really? Is that it? You're lazy, you know that? Okay, let's check this floor, why not? We are already in here. Uh, ammo box. Three freezing shots. Oh, do I hit him? Oh, I actually did. That was a close one. Nice. Yeah, I love trauma difficulty because there are no souls tempting me to collect them. And that's a good thing because on other difficulties I just spent most time of the game just rushing towards souls and it's not fun really. Here I don't have to stress myself about that anymore. I just try not to die. Uh. Oh. More of die kind coming. Alright, let's waste the golden cards. See, this is the haste I've been talking about in my previous video. Everything moves slower. Even the sound is kind of, you know, dull, which is pretty cool in fact. <laughs> Even the weapon animations, but you still have the same rate of fire. That, that's incredibly awesome. Oh, but it takes for painkiller to fly anywhere. Oh no, our blade's gonna hit us. Ah! 
no good enough. Hey, where did you come from? Almost on that something. Okay. Yeah. The soundtrack is awesome. One of the first things I put into my very first MP3 devices as a kid. Painkiller soundtrack. Ah. Uh. Yeah. This is very annoying part because you have to check each corridor of each floor in order to get it all. It's just spread too thin. Why can't it be amassed? Now, uh, now we have to get up once again because we forgot to blow up the dynamite crates and collect the gold coins they yield. Yeah, all around like this. A complete idiot. I'm being hysterical, am I? Yeah, let's cut it out. Okay, we can descend one level. Uh, oh. Oh. Close call. That. There you go. All enemies taken care of. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, one more monster to kill. You know, I think we're gonna get the tarot card because this isn't the end of level, so there's bound to be some creature. Something waiting for us here. Oh boy, I hate this. Okay, we're on the ground floor finally, so. Last two corridors to check. Oh, this one's pretty hidden. I just hope we won't be missing one object. That would be disastrous. And that would completely cause a decline in my morale standing. Demoralize me, yeah, that, that's the word. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, very wrong, boom. Okay, three more objects. Something tells me I'm on the right track because I three, I see three more objects before me. That is a good thing, right? Oh, we got it all somehow. Awesomeness. Not even we have it more, we have additional objects, so we destroyed more objects than possible. Yeah, that, that I'm glad to see. Still wondering how that's possible. Okay. Big vamp guy, that's the surprise. Now, we can either spend eternity trying to kill him. You know, I read it somewhere, he actually is killable. Believe me or not, I once spent 45 minutes dealing damage with his laser, he still didn't die. Guess the developers just add some, I don't know, 6 nines number health points. I don't know, but it's incredibly inconvenient, so let's instead do this a coward's way and retreat into the light. Oh, oh boy, I, I, no, 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 no! Well, 
That wasn't coward's way, that was idiot's way. I don't see a way up. Why didn't we die? Because we have to touch the fire down there. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, sorry Daniel, let's let's do this again. Okay, we got another chance. Phew, hard to hit from this angle, but oh, okay. So, being a vamp, not a vampire, it does not like sunlight. So, we're lucky there's a daytime daytime out there. Oh, we can stand on the planks, nice. Ooh. Oh, oh, you see? A little bit of daylight and he's down. I think I'm gonna make a screenshot here. Okay. So things are moving, that's creepy. Now, let's see. We killed all the monsters, so we're gonna get the card and all the golden stars. Okay, I'm pretty curious. Soul Keeper, Soul Stay Longer. Yeah, our very first silver card, and the most useless one. What do you think? What effect will this have on a difficulty mode where there are no souls? Yeah, let's not even bother with this card. And it costs 500 gold coins to place. Uh, I don't really get this. Okay, that's a bit of a disappointment, but who knows? LB next time we'll receive a card that we can actually use. Still, it's a nice addition to our collection. Well, I guess I'll see you later. This is Zolgaris115 signing off.